What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to explore departments in the Employees app. When our company was small, we could easily manage a few employees, but now that we're getting bigger, it's important to keep our departments organized properly and make sure we know which managers are responsible for which employees. As we expand and grow and add new job positions and departments, it's critical for us to keep departments and employees organized. So let's jump in and take a look. If you're in my Employees app, I can quickly access my departments by clicking on Departments in the top menu. On the Departments dashboard, I'm presented with all the departments in a Kanban view. Now, each card shows me the department's name, who the manager of that department is, as well as the number of employees in that department. And because all of our apps are connected, I'm also showing off all the different time off requests, as well as allocation requests, which are coming from the time off app. I'm also able to see if there are any new applicants for any job position within the department, which comes from the recruitment app. Last, I can see all the confirmed employee appraisals. And that comes from, you guessed it, the appraisals app. I can click on any of this information to present it with further details. For example, if we scroll back up and click on the two time off request here in the executive management card, I am taken to a time off page with the time off request where I can either approve or refuse these requests. But if we head back to our departments through the breadcrumbs, and if I head to the purchasing department card, and click on the three new applicants link, I'm taken to a list where I can see who applied, along with some relevant information, the job position, and even what stage the specific application is in. And if I click on one of them, I can view all the details for that applicant. Okay, now that we see what information is presented, let's go back to our department's dashboard again by the breadcrumbs here in the departments and see how the department is configured. So if we go to the human resources card and click into that, I can see all the department details here. Here is the department's name, the manager of that department, but here we can also see who the parent department of the human resources department is. And here we can see that the human resources department is nested inside of the executive management department. We also have a color set as well as an appraisal template and appraisal survey for this department. In this department organization chart here on the right, I have a visual representation of this department showing me that the parent department is the executive management department. And this also has a few child departments, which is payroll as well as recruitment. And on the right here, we can see how many employees are in each of those departments. I also have these smart buttons here at the top where I can access the individual employees if we click on employees. And if we click on plans, we can see any plans here like onboarding or offboarding. I'll be diving into onboarding and offboarding in another tutorial, so stay tuned for that. Okay, back to our dashboard. We'll just select the breadcrumbs once again. We can change this default Kanban view to a list view if we click on the list view icon here in the upper right hand corner. Now this view shows me the departments in alphabetical order, but we can also further organize this. If we click this down arrow in the search bar, click on add custom group, and then group this by parent department, now expand the design and product development department here. And I can see that the custom furniture, furniture design, and prototyping departments are all within the design and product development department. These sub-departments are referred to as trial departments. I can also see that we assigned all the nested departments to the same color here on the right for added visual organization. We can also view our departments in a hierarchy view if we click on the hierarchy symbol here on the right corner. This can be thought of something like a family tree. If that analogy makes more sense to you, I know it helps me. Much like the main department's view, I can see the department's name, the manager, as well as how many employees are within that department. And here in the executive management department, if we click into the two employees, I'm taken to another list where I can see who's running this entire business. I can see here we have the CEO as well as the COO. But if we go back to our departments tree here, our child departments 
design and product development, finance, human resources, manufacturing, as well as sales and marketing, all have departments nested within them. I can tell because they have these unfold buttons at the bottom of their cards. And that tells me the number of child departments each one has. So if we click unfold in the manufacturing department here, I can see all of its child departments, which is furniture manufacturing, logistics and installation, as well as quality and repairs. And I can also see that the only department here with its own child departments is the furniture manufacturing. And when I click unfold on this department, I can see we also have carpentry, finishing, and upholstery. Notice how the manufacturing departments and all the child departments are yellow. We did this deliberately when configurating the departments so we can easily visualize which departments fit together. So how do these departments get made? Let me show you. We're adding a new range of products at Stealthy Wood, metal furniture. We're starting with outdoor patio dining furniture with plans to expand the line in coming years. So today we're gonna to add a new department, Metalworks. So let's see how that's done. We're just gonna click new here in the upper left-hand corner, which opens up a blank department form. In the department name field, we're just gonna type in Metalworks. Now this is the only required field, but it's always a good idea to configure the rest of this information. So next we're gonna start by adding a manager and we're gonna be promoting Miguel to manage this department. So once we select him in the manager field, next we have to select a parent department, which is gonna be the furniture manufacturing department. So if we type in furniture, we can select it here. The reason this department looks so long is because the furniture department is a child department of the manufacturing department, which is a de child department of the executive management department. And below this, we're gonna set the color to yellow. Since I wanna make sure all my manufacturing departments and their child departments are all the same color, just so we could stay super organized. Now I'll set the default appraisal template to the manufacturing appraisal. And for the appraisal survey, we can just leave this on the 360 feedback. Then we'll save this manually. And when we do on the right here, we can see that the metalworks department is the child of the furniture manufacturing department. Now let's go back and see what this looks like on the hierarchy view. If we click the department's breadcrumbs here in the upper left hand corner and we unfold manufacturing once again, and then this time unfold the furniture manufacturing, we can see our metalworks department here listed. And it shows zero employees for now just because there's currently only a manager and no employees. However, to add employees to this department, I'll just select this department when configuring an employee form. Check out the employees v basics video or the add a new employee video for more details on that. So there you have it, Odoers. You just learned how to view, navigate, configure, and understand the department's dashboard. Tune into my next employees tutorial where we'll dive into the details of adding a new employee. But until then, I'll see you next time.